What are significant figures? Is it trick to identify significant figures in less than 10 seconds? And as usual, I will teach you significant figures in physics world. Firstly, let me teach you that what are significant figures. Well, consider a hungry man who can only afford cheap food. Let me ask you, what he needs in order to kill his hunger? Well, the answer is simple. He needs food in order to kill his hunger. Here, we say that food is important. Secondly, it is certain that food will relieve his hunger. Thirdly, we say that food is a reliable source. Also consider that this hungry man adds some fruits to his food. Let me ask you, is it important to add fruit to his food? Well, your answer is, it is not that much important because hungry man can kill his hunger only by the food. But remember that we cannot ignore its importance. Similarly, consider a table. Let the length of this table is 122.3 cm. Now I take the first three digit 122. We know that this is a three digits number. Secondly, we are certain about them. For example, the length of the table is 122 cm. Also we say that it is a reliable number. Personally, I call this number as a true digits number. On the other hand, I take the decimal part 0.3. We know that it is one digit number. Secondly, we say that it is uncertain. I mean, it is not that much important to be included. But it is necessary like fruits to be indicated. Thus we say that there are four important digits present in this measurement. Or we say that there are four significant figures present in this measurement. Therefore, we define significant figures as the certain and necessary digits in any measurements are called significant figures. Let me repeat it. The certain and necessary digits in any measurements are called significant figures. For example, in the 122.3 cm, there are four significant figures. Thus, note it down this easy definition of significant figures. Now, let me teach you the super easy trick in order to identify the total number of significant figures in any number. We know that we have two types of numbers like non-decimal numbers and decimal numbers. In case of non-decimal numbers, the trick is go from first non-zero digit to the last non-zero digit. Let me repeat it. Go from the first non-zero digit to the last non-zero digit. For example, consider this number. We know that 1 is a non-zero digit number. Now the last number 6 is also a non-digit number. So I will go from 1 to the 6. Now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we say that there are 5 significant figures present in this number. Secondly, consider this number. We know that the first digit is 1 and the last non-zero digit is 7. So go from 1 to 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 5 significant figures present in this number. Thirdly, consider this number. The first digit is 4 and the last non-zero digit is also 4. So I go from this 4 to this 4. 1, 2, 3. There are 3 significant figures present in this number. Fourthly, consider this number. The first non-zero digit is 5 and the last non-zero digit is 2. So go from 5 to 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 5 significant figures present in this number. Fifthly, consider this number. The first non-zero digit is 6 and the last non-zero digit is 1. So I go from 6 to the 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
there are seven significant figures present in this number. Finally, consider this number. The first non-zero digit is 9 and the last non-zero digit is 3. So go from 9 to 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there are six significant figures present in this number. Thus by this way, we can easily find significant figures in any number. Now in case of decimal numbers, go from first non-zero digit. Let me repeat it. Go from first non-zero digit. And it is always the difficult part for the student. But I will make it super easy for you. For example, consider this number. The first non-zero digit is 2. So go from the 2 to the last. 1, 2, 3. So there are 3 significant figures in this number. Secondly, consider this number. We know that 3 is a non-zero digit. So go from 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there are 5 significant figures present in this number. Thirdly, consider this number. We know that the first non-zero digit is 5. So go from 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are 6 significant figures present in this number. Fourthly, consider this number. We know that the first non-zero digit is 1. So go from 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 5 significant figures present in this number. Fifthly, consider this number. We know that the first non-zero digit is 6. So go from 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are six significant figures present in this number. Finally, consider this number. The first non-zero digit is 5, so go from 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are five significant figures present in this number. Thus by this way, we can easily find the significant figures in any number. Lastly, as usual, let me teach you the significant figures in physics world. Here, consider that you are selling a diamond. You are interested to find the mass of the diamond. Now consider these two balance. Now using this balance, you measure the mass of the diamond. Let it is equal to 1 kg. While using this balance, you measure the mass of the diamond. Let its mass is equal to 1.321051 kg. We know that in case of 1 kg, there is only one significant figure. While in case of this mass, there are total 7 significant figures present in it. Now let me ask you, which balance will you use in order to sell your diamond? I am 100% sure that you will use this balance, not this balance, to sell your diamond. Because more significant figure means more mass and more mass mean more profit. On the other hand, lesser significant figures means less mass and less mass means less profit. So we can use this whole concept of significant figures in our daily life. I hope that you have learned all about significant figures in this lecture.